Okay, I thought I'd do this video and talk about wrestling. And uh, I'm not a real big fan of wrestling. Uh, I do watch it from time to time. And back when I was a teenager, okay, I watched some of it back then. And one of the guys I really loved back then was Mad Dog. This guy right here, Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer. Really, this guy right here is really what got me started to watch and wrestling because of him. And mainly it's because I like to listen to the guy talk and rant on. He, he was good with rants, okay? And uh, I can remember him with, with Hot Rod Piper, um, Pat Patterson. Uh, there was, the, you know, the bigger guys back then. Uh, Pat Patterson, you had, uh, oh, what's the other guy I'm trying to think of right now? I can't, uh, Rocky Johnson. Rocky Johnson, Piper, Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer. Then you had some of the other ones, too, and, you know, battling that out, uh, taunting each other, ranting on each other. It, it was fun to watch. And also, it's still fun to watch to go back to the classics, okay, because... You look at their wrestling ring, you know, and where they wrestled at, it looked like it was wrestling in a barn. Okay, I mean, you go back to, the, like, 1981, 82, back in them years, I mean, you could tell wrestling was real small back then, okay, from what it is right now. Uh, but, yeah, you know, you had the giant... You know, you had Hulk Hogan. I never did care too much for, well, I don't. I don't care for Hulk Hogan. Uh, Hulk Hogan, the Road Warrior, I don't care for them guys. I really didn't care too much for the baby faces in wrestling, okay? I just didn't. It's, it's the bad guys, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've been watching. I did find out that the the uh, wrestlers do a lot of interviews. It's something I didn't think about. And I've been watching them of late, their interviews and what they say about each other and the gossip and stuff. It's real interesting, okay? And um, and wrestling now, okay, I don't even know who's... Now I don't, I don't even watch the new wrestling. I, I, I don't even know who is in it now. I mean, uh, I think the best, wrestling at its best, to me, was probably in the 90s and in the early 2000s. Probably about, I would say probably about 15 years there. In the 80s was fun to watch, too. It was just comical to watch them in that little ring and and... You can tell they didn't have a lot of money, okay, back then, and and to listen to them ran on, and they get in these battles, fighting each other and stuff. It was just fun to watch back in the eighties, but it was good then, and you know in the nineties, early two thousands, it seemed like it it drifted off, okay, and and a lot of it's because of the stars, okay, I mean. Uh, you, you take back in the 90s and the stars they had, you know, like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, of course, Undertaker still wrestles, but he's old. <laughs> but he still wrestles. But, uh, you know, Sid and um, they, they just had a lot of good stars and it really worked good, okay? And now it just isn't the same. What really turned me off in wrestling <clears throat> was really McMahon and Stone Cold. And I can remember back when Stone Cold and McMahon, and they was fighting each other, okay? And they had this one event with Stone Cold and McMahon, and uh, Stone Cold... He did a bunch of stuff, and to me it was just tasteless, okay? I mean, I thought, I don't know if I remember it right, because it's been back quite a while since I watched that, but 
uh, I think he shaved his hair, right? Stone Cold shaved his hair, I believe. And I think McMahon got so scared in the ring, he peed his pants or something. And I just thought it was just tasteless, man. I mean, in other words, going too far with it. You know, just going too far with their, with their shenanigans. All right, I mean, it just, I don't know. I just thought it went too far. The Stone Cold McMahon, some of the things they did, they just went too far. And, um, and of course, now, with wrestling where it's at now, I hear they've been losing a lot of their viewers. It's it's going down. Okay, I think a lot of it has to do with they just don't have the star power as they did back then. And also, the show isn't the same. And I think a lot of it, they've seen it so many times, people are getting tired of it, I believe, okay. But, yeah, you got to show a little bit of class, okay? I mean, that's what I think. It's just my personal opinion. you got to show a little class. You just can't go out there and do anything you want. I mean, like, you know, you get someone out there and peeing her pants and stuff and doing this, and it's, it just gets disgusting. I mean, that's how I see it, okay? I don't want to see it. You know, that stuff with McMahon, Stone Cold, that's what really put me off of wrestling. Like, what the heck is, you know, it, it kind of reminded me back, you know, that movie with uh, Burt Reynolds, okay, that, uh, what the heck is that movie called? I can't even think of it. With him with that Warren Beatty in it, you know, and the scene that will 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 stick in people's mind when, you know, they was riding on Warren Beatty and uh, told him to squeal like a pig, you know, and that oh, Deliverance. That's the movie I'm thinking about. That really turned me off too. That Deliverance movie that, that really put me off. And I'm not a big Burt Reynolds fan. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big Burt Reynolds guy. And it's partly because of that right there. It's just tasteless, man. I mean, you got to have some tact, okay? I mean, you got to use a little common sense, you know, with movies or with wrestling and, and doing shenanigans and putting on a show. you gotta, you got you, you to use a little common sense. You know, you don't want to go too far where it's tasteless, it's gross. Hey, I don't want to see this, okay? And it's the same thing with a deliverance movie, okay? Warren Beatty, you know, squill like a pig, and I, you know, I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to pay and go see a movie to see see scenes like that, man. It's really okay, social class, you know. I mean, maybe you're, you know, like most of these wrestlers, okay. I, I think most of them are a holes. I really do. And I'm talking about real life. I think in real life, man. I mean, it's like this guy right here. Buzz Sawyer, okay. Probably in real life, the guy probably was an a-hole. He was a big guy. And it's the same thing with all the rest of them. Ultimate Warrior, uh, probably uh, Hulk Hogan. You'd probably take all of them down the line if you knew them in real life and talked to them. Probably a bunch of a-holes. Probably the same thing with Burt Reynolds and all that. <laughs> if you really knew them in real life, man, probably, probably Looney Tunes, Okay. But yeah, are they good at? Do they act good? Do they put on a good show? Or is it good entertainment? Yeah, for the most part, they really do. I mean, they're good with it. But as far as it goes in their real life, yeah, I think most of them are just a holes. You know, that's what I think. But back in the day, I don't know. I say I, I probably was like a three star fan of wrestling. Okay, and now, as far as it goes for the new stuff, I'm just out of it. I don't. I don't even watch the new stuff. I don't know who's champion. I don't know who does the announcements and their little sideshows and stuff. You know, I don't even know. Uh, but um, yeah, I was going to say something else. Now, what the hell I was going to say? I don't know. All my time's almost up, anyhow. But yeah, I never was a big wrestling fan, but I did like to listen to. To the sideshows, I like watching the shenanigans, the taunts, the mayhem. I did like watching that. I did like Buzz Sawyer. I thought he was just excellent, man. I mean, he was a mad dog. I give him that. He put on a good show back then. 